Hello folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a good day and an awesome day too. Uh, we got another script coming in here and it's called Narcissists Don't Accept Accountability, folks. Uh, the male and female narcissists think they're perfect. They want us to be held accountable. They want us to be held accountable for what they do. They do not have love or empathy for anyone. They will turn their lives upside down and they do not care at all, causing us to be a physical and mental wreck. They abuse you mentally and physically, tearing our lives apart bit by bit. But the narcs thinks they should not be held accountable for their actions. They use their children as tools against us. They cause us to have low self-esteem. They cause us to be afraid. They hurt us emotionally. They lie to us constantly. They cheat on us and accuse us of cheating. They physically and mentally abuse us. I don't know how you guys feel, but I hold the narcs accountable. What's your opinion? I hold the narcs accountable, folks. Uh, it's just like I said, they're evil reptiles and that's just how they are, folks. Uh, you know, that's all them things that I just named on that script. That's all the stuff that they do. So if they're not accountable, what is it, folks? I mean, you know, if they're doing all that stuff, are they trying to tear our lives down bit by bit? A healthy relationship don't do that to you, folks. Uh, people that are healthy are going to treat you good and, you know, live and let live and do what they have to do to uh, do their part, you know. But the narcissist is different. They live on a pattern day by day tearing people's lives down, and they move in a circle, folks. They can't step outside that circle, see? Uh, so, yeah, that's just the way they are, folks. Uh, but, yes, I think the narcissist should be held accountable because they go out here and they destroy uh, men and women both and cause them to have all these problems like what I named down below down here. Uh, and I think they should be held accountable for that. Yes, because they are, uh, they destruct our lives, folks. And they want you to live in that same pattern with them like what they got and think that it's okay for them to be that way, but it's not, folks. They should try to uh, look at themselves and analyze themselves, but they're not going to, folks. So uh, just remember this. If you're trying to stay with the narcissist, he's going to do all these things to you, folks, he or she. Because that's just the way they are. They're ruthless folks. And they're going out here seeking people out on purpose, trying to destroy their lives. And it's not right. And I think they should be held accountable. Even in the courts, folks, I think they should be held accountable because if narcissists are out here uh, raising children and stuff, folks, they're putting them children in a, an abusive situation too as well and causing them to have their lives destroyed by the narcs. And I think that they should be held accountable in the courts as well, but the narcissist is such a con artist, folks, that he could look that judge right in the eyes and lie to that judge, and that judge will probably believe everything the narcissist says, folks. And that's how they wind up getting a hold of our children and keeping them in that abusive pattern. But that's my opinion of them, folks, and I'm not gonna change my opinion of them because they've ruined my life and they never did change before. 
and they're not going to change because they don't hold themselves accountable for anything. Uh, that's just the way they are, folks. And if you're with a narcissist, you will find that out for yourself that they're not going to change anytime soon and that uh, you're not going to be able to change them. It's going to be a waste of time because I know there's people out here that probably is in love with the narcissist and they think, well, this person will change someday. No, they're not, folks, because they don't hold themselves accountable for their actions. They're, they think they're above you and they're going to stay that way, folks. But I think that they should be checked out by the courts uh, before they get custody of children and stuff because it's not good for little children to be raised in this pattern because the narcissist uses the children as a tool and a pawn and they put the children right in the middle of a bad situation, folks, and force them to believe things that they really choose not to believe. And uh, young children are being confused out here because the narcissist stays in their ear constantly, you know, telling them things that is going to confuse them because some young children, folks, they don't understand this situation, you know. Uh, the children are feeling bad because they love their parents both and uh, they do not want to see a breakup happen in the relationship with the narcissist because they don't understand the pattern of abuse even though that they may witness that a pattern of abuse, you know, for themselves, they're still too young to know the pattern, folks. So, yes, I wanted to get back in here and tell you all that the narcs don't want to be held accountable. I know my ex-husband never wanted to be held accountable for his situation, but he had people on his side, folks. Um... Just like I said, one of his family members worked in the courtroom and that's what helped him. Uh, that's what helped him to do the things that he did because you have what they call biased judges and, and uh, uh, biased lawyers and things like that, you know, when they have a way to manipulate the situation into the courts against the person that's in the abusive pattern. And they can make that person look like a really bad person, even though they don't know that much about them. Because that judge didn't know me from Adam, folks. He was going right along with everything that the narcissist said. And I don't think that's fair, folks. I think that... Uh, Narcissists should be held accountable and not be allowed to raise children because we know that they're going to destroy these children's lives eventually, folks. And you know, our children is our future, folks. Uh, we, we, just because we're in the pattern doesn't mean that these children shouldn't have their own lives and uh, be able to grow up and be normal and stuff, folks. But they can't because they got a narcissist for a parent and that narcissist is gonna try to prevent that child from growing up normal uh, because of his habitual lying and stuff. It's just like I said, folks, they're a reptile waiting to dig their claws into you or your children. So yes, they should be held accountable in my, my eyes, you know, because they've turned my life upside down, folks, in every way, even with my children, using them for a tool. And it caused my children to have uh, problems now uh, I've got one son that was killed. Y'all know that because I told you about that. 
So yes, I'm going to hold that narcissist accountable, folks, because he let my son that passed away, he let him get out and get into things that no parent should ever let uh, their child get into, and he just didn't care, folks. The narcissist is a reptile, folks. Remember that. They're going to dig their claws in. Well, thank you, and you have a good day and a blessed day, folks. And here's to you. And I hope you're having a happy day today. Get out and enjoy that sunshine, folks. Well, thank you, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Bye.